out when you're ready, yeah? You're ready? Is everybody ready? Yes, yes. Is it rolling now? Mm -hmm. okay. Go. Good. Hello everybody, it's Peter of England here uh, in Ravensburg. Today we had a beginning of a process, uh, which is a court case in effect in, uh, in Germany. And this is looking into the integrity of Weabank and the fundamental question that needs answering, and everybody should be answering, uh, is a simple question of promissory note. Main question is, is this a valid, legal, and enforceable financial instrument? Simple question answered in a yes or no. If it's not, then we need to unravel the entire edifice of the commercial banking and financial structures worldwide. And if it is valid, then there's no questions to be answered in this court here today. Um, 9.30 this morning, there were approximately, I'd say, 150 to 175 people uh, inside the courtroom. Uh, when the, the judge arrived, uh, he told many of the people standing that they had to leave. Um, this caused obviously some disturbance, and the uh, judge, Muller, who was an aspiring politician within the CDU here in Germany, uh, who was rejected, I believe, in a former time when he applied for being considered to be too much of a barking dog, um, he ends up uh, dragging people almost physically out of the court, trying to do the job that the security people should have been there doing. So what we ended up with is quite a considerable period of mayhem. Uh, one lady tried to take a picture and he dragged it from her, uh, dragged the camera out of her hand, screaming and yelling, and I challenged him on the basis that I didn't think he was competent, I didn't think he was fit to conduct a trial, and I found him, in effect, very, very biased from the beginning. Uh, the conducting of a court case here in Germany is unlike any that I've seen anywhere else, with one individual acting as the judge, the executioner, and the jury at one and the same time. He was opinionated, he was biased, he was making jokes, making funny uh, expressions with his face uh, to, the, uh, to the equivalent of what's called the Crown Prosecution, and in effect turning it into a bit of a carnival. So he also said to the people it's not their opinion when someone voiced a comment, and so what we find is there is one individual who's been instructed by his Weimauer or the Freemasonic Zionist banking cartel here in Germany to decide what happens with the fate of Weirbank. However, everything should be addressed to the one simple question, not whether Weirbank has been regulated by the ECB, not whether the Financial Compliance Authority or the Bank of England, a private bank, has given permission for us to bank as human beings. But the one simple question that needs to be answered over and over again is the promissory note. Is it valid or is it not valid? The SMA in Austria, the Financial Compliance Authority in the United Kingdom, the New Zealand Ombudsman, the Court of Appeal in Canada, in the United States and in Ireland, all authorities have concluded that the promissory note is a valid, legal, and enforceable document as issued and held by Weirbank. That means if the promissory note is valid, everything that subtends from it is also valid. If the milk, sorry, if the cow is a cow, then what comes out of the other is milk. So with that, I'll give you further updates as the day goes on. So thank you, Peter of England.